Hey, this is Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Uh, I got a story for you. It's a little bit embarrassing for me, but hopefully if you're a novice paramedic or EMT, uh, it'll give you a little bit of hope. Things will get better. So I was in the field training program, really new, still stuck PERMA attending as a matter of fact, when my partner and I, my field trainer and I got sent to a, a drive-by shooting just outside of downtown. We found a scared 17 year old that said that gang members drove up to him, asked him who he claimed and shot him right in the calf. And he said he loved his mama and Jesus, shot for no reason. It's a sad commentary on modern life. Indeed, very sad. So he was shot in the left calf. We put him on the bed in the bus. I started to cut his jeans from the cuff upward while my FI looked at me with an expression of disdain and frustrated anger. A police officer was there and was taking the victim statement. By the way, you could tell that I was new because I was actually cutting the patient's jeans. Now I know that you only have to cut the bottom seam, the, uh, the hem on a pair of jeans and the rest rips in a nice straight line really quickly. As I was cutting from the hem of his pants upwards, I had a brief thought that it was weird that there wasn't a bullet hole in his jeans. But I knew that bullets did odd things from time to time. Maybe it was a small caliber and didn't make much of a hole. So I missed it or something. One way or the other, I was way too busy to think through discrepancies like that. You see, back then I didn't do a good job of investigating when my brain asked the question, what the fuck? Uh, there's a card up here somewhere. Anyhow, as I was cutting uh, the inside scene of the kid's pants leg, I indeed came to a bullet hole in the medial aspect of his inferior calf, right where the gastroc muscle ends and the lower leg narrows. This isn't necessarily a life-threatening wound, assuming that there were no other findings. I made a mental note to check for expanding swelling and to ensure that the dude had pedal pulses and distal movement and all that stuff. Out of habit, mostly, along with wanting to complete the job, I continued cutting the patient's medial seam of his jean leg. I found a second wound at the superior part of his medial calf, just inferior to the knee. Wow. He didn't even feel the second one. Adrenaline's magic, huh? I continued cutting while I absentmindedly pondered life and the human ability to not feel all pain. I came to a third bullet hole just superior to his knee. It is medial thigh. I still didn't stop to investigate the larger what the F question. I suppose people get shot multiple times and only feel one wound. I told you I was a brand new medic. What the hell were gangsters using? Some kind of machine gun or something? Dude had a line of wounds right up his leg. While thinking about all that, my hand continued to squeeze the trauma shears along his pants seam until I came to what I hoped was the last bullet hole. This one was at his groin, just to the side of his sack. There was gunpowder stippling around the wound. Weird. How'd they get that close to him during a drive-by? <laughs> yeah, apparently they uh, uh, did a flush press and uh, got stippling right next to his scrotum. My partner, who was not new, saw the wound and said, you little liar. Some of the biggest lies that I've ever heard of in my whole life. Cop, who was in the back with us, remember, getting the patient's statement, suspect information, all that stuff, was apparently not new either. Where's the gun? Where'd you put it, damn it? If a kid finds it, I'm gonna hold you responsible. Where's the gun? I'm not a smart man. As proof of that statement, I offer the fact that I still didn't know what was actually going on. The patient made a brief but valiant attempt to continue the gangster drive-by story before it collapsed under the weight of evidence. <sighs> I threw it into the bushes over by the swimming pool. He finally admitted in a weak, defeated voice. Now I finally began to catch on. Our patient was putting a handgun down into his belt when it went off. The round barely missed his nut before entering his thigh, exiting his thigh just above the knee, entering his calf, and then coming out of his calf when it narrowed again. It stitched right down his leg and all he felt was lower calf wound. So he knew he needed help, but he didn't want to get in trouble. Thus, the imaginary gangster story. There's three big lessons that I took from that call. First, everybody lies, at least sometimes, a little. There's no substitute to thinking about all the findings that don't match a story. And there's no substitute for a complete exam. Even when you think it's a simple calf shooting call, the complete secondary exam finds all kinds of stuff. Let me know what you think of this. You can comment or send me an email to the address in the, the description. If you found any value at all from this video, please click like and subscribe. One of the most helpful things you could do is share this content with someone you know. Click over here for another video or click over here to this side for a channel page and all videos. Subscribe's a button below and I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm Angry Bill, this is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Until next time, stay safe.